uh, I'm going to give it an extrude of uh, 9 inches minus 9 inches as our uh, main wall is 10 inches thick and we are going to select a wall right click convert to editable poly go to standard primitives compound objects boolean and pick B operand this one so as you can see it's uh, very simple to create uh, this type of and if you are going to some uh, going for something uh, much fancier uh, like uh, if you're going for uh, circular uh, or uh, uh, other type of uh, shapes uh, for extra, uh, uh, making it boolean you can also do that uh, but anyways uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going I'm not going to demonstrate it mm, but before uh, making a boolean what I'm going to do is create create one copy for it so that we can uh, use our boolean here also uh, okay we are going for a copy and now we are going to do a boolean boolean pick boolean pick b operand okay right click and convert to editable poly always remember to convert it to editable poly because uh, at some point uh, it will give uh, it, it will start uh, giving you problems okay uh, I'm going to center its Y position so that we will get proper center uh, we can align it properly center on this and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degree as you can see and push it or we can align it uh, I, I have turned on the snaps we are going to align it by this vertex ok uh, I think it's good so we are doing the same process here also uh, compound objects boolean pick b operand pick those. sorry before we do that we are going to ok ok fine we can do this uh, pick b operand pick it now what I can do is delete this one and uh, I can go and copy this one to other side also uh, so uh, before doing it uh, let's do one thing uh, let's let's uh <coughs> sorry let's uh, give them some materials press M and give first material to overall uh, your walls and second material for the shelf you can choose second material and go to this as you can see uh, by creating a boolean object uh, you separate uh, you have separated uh, its uh, material id and uh, it uh, it is it has already a polygon selected so it becomes easier for you to uh, give it a tex proper texture so we are going to select this one uh, for the purpose of recognizing uh, differentiating them i'm going to give it a black as you see like this and we are going to s do same uh, for this also uh, give it this convert to editable poly choose this polygons and do it like this ok ok now uh, we are good to make copy of, copy of it here so let, let's uh, create a mirror object instance exposition as you can see here okay and mm, okay I'm gonna snap uh, snap it like this so uh, the basic structure is ready now in every uh, jewelry stall there is uh, some uh, storage elements or some counters or something like that uh, so uh, what we are going to do is create a basic counter and uh, I'm going to make it from the top so we are going to use uh, a rectangle for it sorry about that I'm going to make, y make it uh, like 7 feet now it will be 
much larger 6.5 yeah this is good I think uh, so one more thing to consider in your mind while creating a counter is that uh, there will be uh, people sitting behind it so you have to at least leave uh, uh, 12 feet of distance uh, for them to see it pro properly see it or it, it is better if you if you can leave uh, like 2.5 uh, uh, feet uh, but I'm going for a 2 feet uh, distance so place it something like this and yes, uh, one more thing that uh, you have to at least leave uh, two feet of distance. So um, we have to change its so width to six feet, and we are going to place it like this. Or we can do one thing: uh, just turn on your snap toggles, go to effect pivot only, and. Uh, align it its pivot to one corner and then snap it like this so it will be properly placed and we are going to create uh, another rectangular object uh, like so or you can do one thing uh, you can pick this one and shift and drag and co make copy of it not instance and we can convert it to editable spline we can select this two vertices and align sorry align it here like this okay so I think this is good let me press F3 uh, so uh, this counter generally have the height of 2.5 feet so I'm going to give it an extrude of uh, 2.5 feet 2.5 and I'm going to snap it here and give it an ex negative extrude of uh, uh, like minus one inch okay fine I think this is good for basic layouting okay uh, one more thing that uh, Yes, many people will want many uh, people who are involved in jewelry and uh, all uh, will want a glass top. In uh, so we are going to create a glass top here by shift and copy, and we are going to reduce its uh, extrude height uh, to six or four inches. I'm going for six inches, and I'm going to give it a. Uh, material material I'll call it glass we'll call this one wall this one shelves and this one glass okay uh, this is going to be counter uh, we can use the same uh, material which we have used for wall uh, for the counter so uh, I'm going to give it here and uh, now that we have uh, created I'm going to give the same wall material to here also we can change it afterwards also if he does not get proper results while we are rendering so uh, so the basic is uh, uh, I think covered now one more important thing about uh, jewelry stall or any stall is branding so there are few ways to do branding uh, either we can make a, s a small pillar uh, pillar or some sort of uh, shelves here or either we can make uh, a fascia going from here to here uh, whichever uh, will be convenient you can do that I'm going to make uh, I'm going to try something different. So what we can do is create two. Oh, sorry, I have my grid auto grid turned on. Okay, I will make some two feet. Yeah, good. Uh, two feet width uh, storage areas here. Sorry, uh, this is going to be one feet and we'll use effect pivot only 
change it to here close it and again snap it to here okay we are going to uh, give it the height of uh, mm, 2.5 feet okay fine and uh, we can copy this one same uh, but uh, to make it inter interesting we can make uh, some grooves or uh, some uh, thick uh, uh, stripes uh, s and place some lights on it so it will look uh, much more better so mm -hmm. what I can do is uh, first of all go to front view and uh, create a one inch yeah something like this uh, give it oh it's exactly one inch sorry uh, one inch and width will be yeah width will be same uh, so what I'm going to do is extrude it for one inch yeah this is all oh, you can use uh, yeah it's fine uh, so this is okay mm -hmm. and I go I'm going to copy this uh, to the bottom also you could do the do, uh, do this if you want but uh, I think uh, okay we are, we are going to copy it uh, first of all I'll give you give it a material and uh, set its pivot to one of the corner whichever you want so that it becomes easier for us to snap it okay. shift and drag make a instance 